G'day friends, it's Vicky Wright, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator Australia. So today is our um, week three of sharing our um, online exclusives. But before we get into that, I've just got, well, there's quite a few announcements actually. So um, as from the 1st of August through to the 31st of August, there's a kit collection sale and it's up to 30% off. All the kits are available in my online store and I'll have a link below, okay? Um, I will be showcasing some of the kits throughout the month of August, so be sure to watch or stay tuned to or even subscribe to my channel. So that's number one. Number two is, it's the last day to earn your bonus days. So throughout the month of July, for every um, $90 you spend, um, you'll earn a $9 coupon. Now, um, come August, you will then be able to um, use those coupons on any orders you place. Um, what you must do though before you do that is um, once you get your coupons which are emailed to you be sure to save them because um, they're not saved anywhere and you won't be able to redeem them otherwise and I'd hate for you to lose your, um, your coupons. Okay so that's that one. Then um, we have, it's also tomorrow the 1st of August is the last day to RSVP for our Simply Stamp, that's the wrong one, this one, Simply Stamping card class um, and we're going to be playing with the Gone Fishing stamp set, okay. So this is available in in person or kits to go. Um, the RSVP is the 1st of August and the class is Friday the 18th of August from 7 o'clock p.m. or Sunday the 20th of August from 2 p.m. Okay, so that's that one. Then on the 1st we have our Stamp and Card Club starting. Um, through from the 1st to the 15th of August, um, subscriptions are open. Now, we're again using the Gone Fishing stamp set um, along with the papers and the dies. So, um, if you're not, if you don't subscribe to this club, be sure to do so. This is my favourite club. We've been going for about seven years now, so... Um, and you do have two options and again um, I'll have the link down below where you can um, choose which option you want to um, go for okay then we have I told you there was a lot of stuff <laughs> then we have our August online class that is Saturday um, actually Friday the 4th of August um, I still have um, kits left over. It has closed, but I still have a couple of kits left over, if you're interested. It's Australia only, I'm sorry. Um, and if there's any kits left over after the class, they will be sold in my um, tutorials online shop okay so that's those so that we're using the little uh, little monkey bundle it's a cute little one actually and we're going to be creating the three projects okay so that's that one um, then on the first second sorry second of um, August We've got the um, exclusive online class 
opening and we're going to be playing with the Hay Chuck bundle. Now, Robbie from Creations in Paper is in the States. So you get this class and the make and takes for free when you purchase this kit, this bundle. So if you live in the States and you purchase the bundle from Robbie, you will get this kit, okay? But if you live in Australia and you purchase it from me, I will give you the kit. So don't buy the kit um, where you can't buy it um, internationally anyhow from demos. Um, then we've got the two options and you can have buy, purchase the kit and get the, um, purchase the bundle and get the kit or you can purchase the PDF only and that will be in my online PDF online store as well. Okie dokie. And our Facebook Lives um, this week is Wednesday and it's Cards with a Twist. So what I'll be doing is creating one card and then I'm going to show you a twisted side of it. And then during August, Robbie and myself will be sharing um, mail cards. Now, I know some people have a lot of trouble in creating mail cards, so that's what we're going to be doing this month. And we go, um, our videos go live Sunday, Tuesdays and Thursdays. So that starts again next Sunday, which is, um, I think it's about the 5th, is that right? Just better check that, okay? So that's all the announcements. That's quite a mouthful, actually. Now, on to our card. So what we're going to be playing with is... The bold and beautiful, bold and beautiful, God, um, bright and beautiful papers, the 6x6 from the annual catalogue. So this is them here. I don't have the um, coordinated colours down here yet, I've just realised that. And we're going to be playing with this piece of paper, and I think it's this piece of paper, okay? Or is it, no, it's not, it's... That one and that one. So they're our papers we're going to be playing with today. Okie dokie. And our, exclusive, our online exclusive is all about the um, Rhino Ready Bundle. Okay, I'm oh, sorry about the glare. Um, you get your stamp set and you get your dies. Okay. So that's what we're going to be playing with. So we'll just put those aside for the moment and we'll bring in our kit. Now there's lots and lots of pieces to it and I have pre-done bits and pieces. Okay, so we've got those two pieces which will be the inside. So we might stick those down now. So we don't get them mixed up, eh? And we want our glue. I meant to say too, thank you for everyone that's purchased um, any make and takes for the Little Monkeys class. It's really, really appreciated. Okay, so we need two pieces because we're going to do a bit of a fun fold or a surprise in the middle. So that goes there like that. Then this piece will go over here like this. So that's our inside done. Actually, we might pull it over a bit. Making sure our pieces are all nice and even. Okay, so that's the inside done. Then we're going to bring in a layer of basic white 
and our DSP. And we're going to be using this solid. And we're going to stick these two pieces on top of each other. Just like that. And we'll stick this then to the front of our base card. So this card is going to be bright and a little bit out there. You'll see once we put it together. So that's basically our card. Then we're going to bring in our circle, which I've punched using the 2 and 3 8 inch punch. And we're going to bring in this circle, which I've die cut from Pretty Peacock using the second largest die from um, Stylish Shapes dies. These are my favourites, actually. Uh, they're my go-to. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking we might sponge a little bit of colour on here. So just bear with me. Sometimes you have these um, last-minute ideas. So... I'm just going to sponge a little bit of um, pool party. I'll blend a little bit of pool party. Now, I usually um, go off the excess, I should say, off onto scrap paper before I um, blend onto cardstock. But we're not going to see the, that, that middle bit. So it's not going to matter. And I just want to add a little bit of colour. Probably not so much to the middle, but around the sides or edges. You don't have sides on circles, do you? And I think that'll do. Okay, so that's that. As I said, last minute ideas. But that can be a good thing. And we're just going to stick this onto our pretty peacock stitch circle. And just so the stitching can be seen on the outside. Can you see that? Okay. Then we're going to pop this up. So... Just a couple of dimensionals, taking off the sticky legs. And we're going to pop this Mac Bang in the middle. Just like that. Then what we're going to do, now I've die cut the trunk of a tree, um, that one there from Crumb Cake. And what we're going to do is stick this down onto our circle. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. Not 
too much. You could use um, your adhesive sheets if you wanted to, or fine tip glue. I might put it on a bit of an angle, just like that. And then I've die cut heaps. Um, all these trees, but I'm thinking we might go for the big one, the branches, sorry. So we might go for that one, okay? Where is it? There it is. And all we're going to do is stick that across there, just like that. And I'm also thinking we might grab some, um, a blending brush again. And we might grab our lemon lime twist ink. Now, the, the, I can't think what this is called now. The tree, oh, isn't that awful? The branches, not the branches, the, the leaves and everything. Um, oh, I can't think what it's called now. It's just gone. We might highlight that a bit, eh? Now, have I got any um, paper? Yeah. Just so I don't get it on our graph paper. And then have it contaminate other stuff. Now, I just want to highlight it a little bit, especially the edges. Just to add a little bit more interest. Okay, that'll do. And we're just going to stick that across there like that. Okay. And I'm thinking it may have to be popped up with a couple of mini dimensionals. Now this card today is aimed at the kids, so all you need to do if you wanted it a particular boy or girl or whatever, um, just change out the colours. Big kids, little kids, this would be perfect for. So we'll just do that, just like that. Actually. Will I rip these? No. I'm thinking we take them off and we'll take this one off and we're going to put a little bit of glue along the bottom. Just like that. And we're going to bring it down a little bit further. That's better. That's better. Probably a little bit too far over now. That's better. Fractional, little, you wouldn't even notice, but it looks better to me. Now, I've got a rhino and I've already um, coloured it with Smoky Slate Stampin' Blends. It's that image there. Okay, so I've already done that. Um, if you didn't have the blends, you could use your colour pencils. You could use your sponge dobbers and ink or you could even use your blending brushes could even use your water painters too if you wanted to. But I've used the blends and we're just going to stick him right there. Um, I will pop him up. I 
wasn't going to, but we will pop it up. And I've probably used too many dimensionals, but that doesn't matter. So that's that. Then what I've done is I've die cut a couple of leaves, different sizes, um, from um, Lemon Lime Twist. And I think what we'll do is the same thing. We'll just highlight them. And I'm not going to um, um, add more colour to this. I'm just going to use what's on here. Just to add a little bit of interest, eh? Still heaps of colour on here, so... If you don't have your blend, um, blending brushes, you could always use um, the sponge dobbers. You could use your watercolor, uh, water painters if you wanted to. Your pencils. You could even use your um, blender pen to add colour. Markers. So that's done. Then what we'll do is we're going to stick this behind our rhino, eh? So we'll stick this one out here like that. Now we're only making this up as we go along, so... And we'll stick this one just there. Whoops. And that's the front of our card. And that's not too bad. I don't mind that, actually. Okay. Now we're going to do the inside. And what we're going to do is an accordion fold. Now, because this paper is only 6 by 6 what I've done is I've cut two pieces of the 6 by 6 Oh, sorry. One sheet, but I've used, I've cut two pieces that are 2 inches wide, and they are 6 by 6 Then what I've done, excuse me, is I've stuck two pieces together, probably about a quarter of an inch. And that's it there. So it's made um, probably 11 and a half um, long piece of paper. Okay. Then what we're going to do is fold this in half. Don't panic. I know it's not going to matter. It's not going to be the same size. So... I'm just going to fold that in half. Now I folded it along the top of, oh sorry, along that fold line because I don't really want that fold line to be seen. Okay, where I've, where I've um, joined the two pieces together. Then what we're going to do is grab our trimmer. Now my pieces of cardstock for the inside, the basic wide, are at four and sorry, three and seven eighth, which is about nine point eight centimeters. Okay. And I'm going to we've got one shot at this. Chop that off. I'm getting nervous now. So we're going to rotate it and we're going to do the same. And hopefully, fingers crossed, oh look at that, I was going to say fingers crossed that they will be the same size when, you, when it's folded in half and it is. Oh, don't you love it when something works? Then what we're going to do is fold these two pieces in half again. This is the easiest way to... OK. 
okay and the same with this one it's going to be folded in half And then we'll just fold that back like I don't know it's right. So that is our I don't know accordion I suppose it is. I like an accordion, isn't it? Then we'll bring in our card and now I should have made it a bit longer but that's okay we'll just keep it like that what I would have done is probably chopped it at um, instead of three and seven eighth I'd probably chop it at four and one eighth okay and that way you've got your paper that goes right to the end but that's all right we learn as we go so what we're going to do is stick this down And this side now I want this smack bang in the middle on that fold line so I'm going to bring it down a little bit actually making sure that it's nice and oops have I got that the right way yep would have been handy eh So we'll bring that down and we'll take that across like that and we're going to take this across. Yeah, if you cut it at four or four and one eighth on either side, that would go to that side, okay? And then you wouldn't have that white gap. And then close that up just like that. And that still gives you room to write. If you wanted to, you could move this up the top and then right down the bottom. Or you could put it in the middle and then add a piece of basic white to the back. And that could be where you write your um, greeting and sentiment. Okay. So what we're going to do now is going to decorate it. Now, as I said, I've already pre-stamped and coloured some of the images. Okay, so that's one that I've done with um, grey granite again. Grey granite is smoky smoke. Grey granite, yeah, I'm not telling you a fib. This one, I told you this was pretty wild, is fresh freesia. And this one is pumpkin pie. Okay, so they'll get a real big shock when they open the card and all I'm going to do I'm not going to pop them up I think I'll just um, glue them down if I was going to pop them up I'd probably leave about one eighth of an inch spine down the middle to allow for that extra movement with the dimensionals so then we'll do this one. Actually, we might do this one here because it's a little bit bigger. Okay, so we'll do this one. And we'll put it on this side. They're cute, these rhinos. We've got cheeky grins. And you can tell they're up to no good. So that's that. And he can be walking away in the distance with the little budgie on the back of him. And then so that's like that, okay, I like that. Um, I've die cut a circle for using the stitched 
Got the stitch stylish shapes dies again. And we're going to stamp our sentiment in smack bang in the middle. And we're going to be using um, Hope Your Birthday. Oops, sorry. I just hit everything across the table. So Hope Your Birthday is wild. Okay. And we're going to stamp that in Pretty Peacock. I did have Pretty Peacock here. What did I do with it? See, that's, oh, here it is. That's the trouble. Sometimes you lose everything. Okay. So we'll just tap, tap, tap that. Stamp that. Oh, nice. Close that up. And we're going to um, stick this down too. We're not going to um, pop it up. Usually when I use DSP, I put anything on top of a DSP, I will pop it up. But I'm not going to this time. And that goes, whoops. That goes there. Then what I've done is I've die cut a party cap out of basic white with the rhino dies, and it's this little one here. Um, excuse me, there. And it's just embossed it. But what we're going to do is bring in our pretty peacock light, and I think. We will just do a couple of circles. Try to go and see that. And all I've done is gone over the debossed part of it. Whoops. It's not perfect, but you know what? It doesn't matter. The other thing you could have done was um, highlighted it with um, a sponge dauber or even um, your, your stamp and blends, okay, pencils even. So now what we'll do, put a couple of dimensionals minis on the back. And we're going to pop it up over. Actually, I might take that off because it's going to overlap. And I don't want it to stick to the card. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to. Open the concertina part. We might just stick this flat, actually. Oh no. There you go. About that. It's cute. And that is our card using the online um online exclusive Rhino Ready stamp set and that's it there. Okie dokie. So I'll have all the links for everything down below. Um, and all you have to do is just click on those links. And I'll also have the links to the classes below too. Um, for August classes. So just click on those to join any of the classes. And I'll see you Tuesday. For uh, No, it starts the following Tuesday. So I'll see you Wednesday for our Facebook Live. Okay, thanks very much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Enjoy your week. See ya. Hooray.